Hello everybody, M my name is Yellow and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about a program called Win Arrow Tweaker. Now Win Arrow Tweaker is meant to uh, change a lot of things about Windows in a very easy way without you having to tweak around with the registry and all that. It does it all for you. It's, to put it in short words, it's basically an advanced uh, system registry editor tool and it, it's actually really really good. I have it on my main computer and it can do a lot of stuff that you might not think. So um, today I'm going to be showing a full how to guide to use it as well as how to download and install it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up your web browser. I'm just going to be using the beta version of Microsoft Edge, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I use Firefox on my main computer. This is just a VM. I just happen to have this on this VM. Now, this does work with all versions of Windows. I believe it works from Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, which I'm running here. I'm pretty sure it also works with Windows 7 and Vista, although uh, I am not sure. So, all you have to go and do is search up Win, Win Arrow Tweaker, and the thing should be at winarrow.com. This is where WinArrow Tweaker is. All you have to do is click on WinArrow Tweaker here, this little tunnel thing here, and it will take you to the download page. So, all you have to do is just click on where it says useful links to you, click download WinArrow Tweaker, and it'll take you to this page, which is where you can download it. So, simply press this little small button here, download WinArrow Tweaker. I'll, leave, I'll have this linked in the description, so you don't have to go through it. And now it will start installing WinArrow Tweaker. So it'd be in the zip format, very easy to extract. You don't need any uh, uh, software to extract this. However, I do recommend getting WinRAR because it's a lot more convenient than using the built-in tool that Windows has. So all you have to do, uh, I'm going to show it in the folder here. All you have to do is install it, or right-click, and then just press Extract All, press Extract. And then what it will do is, as you see here, it will simply extract it. Now, I'd normally use WinRAR for this, as it is a lot faster and much more, you know, easy to use, but whatever. Anyway, it will come up with this. Just double-click on the setup, press Run, uh, come up with this administrator thing, press Yes. Uh, this might be a little bit different on, uh, this should be relatively the same if you're using this on Windows 7, but on Windows 10 it will be slightly different with some of the things. Just press Next. Press next again, I accept next, 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 and then install. And uncheck wizardwinarrow.com for the latest news, and then just press finish. So now you are done installing Winarrow Tweaker. It takes, what, that took less than a minute to install. Very easy. And when this pops up, just press I agree, and then just press yes. Now, we should should be in WinArrow Tweaker when it loads up. Um, as you see here, it's loaded up. Now, system information, it'll immediately show all of my things. So, OS, we're running Windows 8.1. Uh, this virtual machine has 6 gigs of RAM. Uh, I'm currently running this at 920 by 1080. Uh, the process that I'm using, this is just on my actual computer. And your Windows index score. So, I believe they removed this in... Uh, they removed this in Windows 8. It used to be on Windows Vista and 7. It'll basically show you a score. Uh, so if you click this, it will run the score in here, and you can get a Windows Intex score. So I believe I have like a 6.5 on my main computer. Uh, I can check that. But anyway, I'll do it through here, and it will rate it. All right, so we are back here on WinArrow Tweaker, and as you see here, I got a Windows Index score of 5.4. So that is pretty cool that they added that back in, but now I want to get into this part. So on this left-hand side menu, this is all, all your things that you can change. Uh, it's absolutely crazy, all the stuff that you can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to start off with bookmarks here. So you can, if you right click on this, uh, or if you click on it, you can, uh, you'll see this button up here, 
you can bookmark this. So if I bookmark it, uh, it will come up under this, so easy access, so you don't have to scroll down here. Uh, so very, very nice. I'm just going to get rid of it. There we go. But um, first thing that I want to do is go over this. So this is your appearance section. Uh, this should be basically the same on Windows 8 and 10. So error colors, this will just change your system color. Uh, error light, of course. So this is a hidden uh, theme in Windows 10, 8.1 and Windows 8. Uh, this does not give you error, but it's like a hidden theme and it's pretty cool. So enable error light, and let it do its thing here. And if you look at... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, uh, if you look at this, uh, the, the title buttons have changed, and, I don't know, it looks a bit different, uh, it's not as much of a difference on Windows uh, 8, but uh, the taskbar has changed, uh, you know, some of these, these buttons, they're like, rearrange themselves, it looks different, and also, uh, some of the, it's like more rough around the edges, I think, uh, I've seen some people use this theme in normal Windows, but, uh, it's got these like black outline around everything. It's a lot more rough, but some people like it. I'm fine. You know what? I'm gonna keep it like this for the rest of the video. So, and then if you you can press that and it will restore it. So as you see, we're back, we're back to normal here. Alt tab appearance. So uh, if I do alt tab, this is what it will look like on Windows 8. On Windows 10, it will look like something different. But if I go back on here, you can actually change this. So let's just say if I wanted to make the classic, I will restart the Explorer here. And as you see, it is now the classic theme. So, there we go. If I want to do it, I'll just restart Explorer again. And as you see, it is back to normal. Uh, this, some of these things will be slightly different on uh, Windows 10. Uh, you can change this a bit more, but let's just say if I want to make the size of this, let's say 408, I'll restart the Explorer. And as you see, it's a lot bigger now. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, change this back to 100 or whatever it was on. See, now it's a bit smaller than what it was before, but it's fine. Um, I also change the spacing. Uh, on um, on Windows 10, you can also make this make the more transparent or more darker. On Windows 8, unfortunately, you can't. But whatever. Uh, so that's all type of appearance, slow down animations, you know, this is all, uh, start, so start green color, you know, all of that, uh, this is for Windows 7 though. Okay, so now I want to go over a few things, so advanced appearance settings, we've got icons, so we can change the font of them, we can, like, change how they look and all of that, menus, we can adjust the menu height, so let's just say I want to make it 70. And if we sign out now, and then we sign back in, there we go. And I don't know if we know our tweaker will open up again, so we're gonna do this. But if you look at File Explorer, that did absolutely nothing. That was meant to. Oh, lag. Windows 8. Okay, well that didn't work. Uh, at least I don't think it did. Well, 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 we're gonna leave it like that. Message font. Uh, that's a bit annoying that it doesn't work, but whatever. Uh, customize window borders. So this uh, will make this a lot thicker. So if I make it you know, a bit of a bit like that, apply. Uh, as you see here, it's a it's a lot more thicker. If I make this ten, you know they get a lot more thicker. You can make this uh, very much bigger. So it's opening up a lot of customization that you did not have with normal windows. So you see here, it looks kind of funny. I'm just gonna bring it to Tad Town a bit because. That's a bit too much. There we go. That's... Oh, I'll put it down even a bit more. There we go. That's good enough. Uh, title bars. Uh, you can change the height of them. to something ridiculous. We're not going to do that though. So... 
Uh, you can disable the error shake. This is only for Windows 7, of course. But there's all kinds of stuff, so it should be blue screen of death instead of sad smiley. So it'll show a little error thing. So instead of showing like, oh, uh, what the, what caused it, we'll show in detail, like in Windows 7, uh, exactly what caused it and, you know, all of that. So as you see here, and so, so it shows all the technical info instead of like the sad smiley face. Uh, so as you see here, uh, boot and logon, you can enable control or delete logon requirements. So if you see here, I'm just gonna sign out. And see up here, press control or delete to sign back in. Uh, this is gonna trigger my actual control or delete on my computer though. So as you see here, uh, control or delete, it works. So if you want to do that, uh, enterprise computers normally have that enabled where you can do control or delete. Uh, of course, you can do that. Uh, now we just gotta wait for an error to, to load back up again because I signed out. Should have pressed lock. <laughs> But yeah, so you, you can start to see now how much customization you can do with this uh, piece of software. It is absolutely insane. Uh, so, once it loads back up, we can continue. Hey, <laughs> right, so we're back up here. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna turn that back off now. But some of the stuff will require you to restart and all of that. Uh, so as you see, you can disable the live tiles in Windows 10 if you want to do that. You can make the task uh, transparent. So as you see, it's transparent. You can disable it now, so it's not transparent. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can open the last active window in group. Uh, there's also a flash count, so you can change how much it flashes when there's a warning coming up or whatever. Uh, there's also, this is, there's all kinds of stuff, so you can change the thumbnails, uh, you can enable the Windows version of desktop, I won't do it though, because I have to sign out. Do you want a chicken cheese avocado tosti? Yes, please. Right, leave that open. No, because then it picks up all your noise that you're making. So there's all kinds of stuff that you can do. So as you see here uh, on the desktop, this is for the context menu. Uh, add kill not responding tasks. So now it, this will show up here, kill not responding tasks. So as you see here, there's no uh, not responding tasks. So it won't do it, but there's all kinds of stuff that you can do. Now there's a lot of also very nice things that you can do. So let's just say uh, control panel. So, what is, oh no, I forgot where it was. Uh, I don't know if we'll come up with this, but on Windows 10, there is an option where you can add, uh, you can add uh, this classic customization back into the control panel. Uh, I can show you a screenshot of it right now, but it is, you know, there's a lot of stuff like that that makes it very cool. In fact, I could probably show you it on my main computer as well. Uh, if I just no Windows, what are you doing? Windows honestly hates me. So as you see here, uh, if I click, if I open up the control panel, not on there, and then we go to appearance personalization and personalization. You'll see personalization classic and personalization. And as you see here, I've got Windows here, and look at this. This is Windows 10, and it works. Although you can change everything, this is classic on Windows 10, which is very cool to see. Now, let me go going back in here. Uh, there's also another thing that you can do here. So uh, you can change the OEM like information. So this is actually very useful if you're uh, on a VM like me and you want to hide that you're using a VM. Like let's say if you're doing like like support or whatever like trying to like support scam or whatever so if you actually are making like if you're like you're trolling like technical support or whatever 
like scammers, you can actually, I recommend downloading Winera Tweaker because you can change the OEM information on this. So if you want it to make it look like you're using HP and you've got a model like HP Pavilion or whatever, you can do that. You can even add a logo to it. There's a lot of things that you can do. So I accidentally just closed it. But there's, as I said, there's a lot of things that you can do with this program that you simply cannot do with normal Windows. And a lot of things you can do with normal Windows, well you can do, but you have to go through the registry and it's a lot more like, you know, hard. So if, like, you see here, classic games on Windows 7, get classic games. Guess what? It'll take you to this. You can literally download these classical games. If you want Purple Place on Windows 10, you can download it. It doesn't matter, you can still do it. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this program and a lot of people use it and that's why it's so cool. So another thing that you can do is desktop gadgets. You can bring them back. Can Internet Explorer please close? <laughs> oh, this is a great time to show off the kill not responding tasks. So there's so much things that you can do. You can get classic task manager and MS config. There's a lot of things that you can do and it's very cool. So I'm pretty sure if you go to, I can't type, so let's just say, what is it, A modern app closing options, you know, you can change all of it, and that's what's really, really cool in this, so, yeah, this is Winero Tweaker, if you want to download it, I'll leave links in the description below, but, uh, a lot of this stuff you can change, it's very nice to have, uh, you know, you can change boot options, you can do all this kinds of stuff. And I feel like, uh, if you really feel like, uh, Windows is limiting you with customization options, personalization options, uh, download this because I tell you what, this will save you a lot of time, uh, with, uh, trying to figure out, mess around with the registry, and you, you don't want to, and you might accidentally break something. This will completely simple it down for you, so it's very easy for you to do and you won't break the registry or whatever and it makes things if you want to customize windows more you can do it through here it's really good uh so yeah get it at winero.com i'll have links in the description to the download as well just to save you some time other than that guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed press that like button uh also i'm gonna release a video hopefully tomorrow about my new upload schedule uh because i'm going back to school uh but anyway, other than that, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Laters.